back to Bloom. You're never too old for love and adventure. Joining us now to tell us about his new book is Robert Hardgrave, the author of We Survived, along with his wife, Jody. Welcome to Bloom, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad so, to be here. Oh, so excited to talk to you. This is such an incredible book. Why did you guys choose the Alaska Canadian wilderness as the setting for your story? Well, we both uh, moved up there. We taught school there. We worked there. We lived, lived there. We recreated. Um, I fell in love with the place, and I couldn't think of a, a, a better setting to write a book. Uh, well, it, it, it seems beautiful. I mean, your imagination just runs with it. So tell us about the book's protagonist and what does he want and is he a little or a lot like you, the author, Robert Hargrave? The uh, Bill, the protagonist, is a personification of me, the author. I, in order to sit down and outline the book and plan it out, the easiest thing for me to do was uh, put myself in the book. Uh, because I, I learned nobody knows me better than I do, and I figured uh, um, that would that would be the best way to go. Well, I have to tell you, I personally am married to my soulmate, which I thank God for every day. But from what you've written, it seems that finding a suitable soulmate, romantic partner might be as difficult as like surviving a crash landing in the Yukon wilderness. What makes finding a suitable partner so challenging? Well, it's one thing to be able to fly an airplane and make a crash landing if you've got the skill, but when it, but if you compare that with finding a soulmate, it's a, it's an entirely different ball game and much more, much more complex and humbling. And uh, so, uh, I like, I mean, for me, it's like winning a lottery ticket. I'm, you know, but so I, yeah. have to, I have to ask you, the novel's two main characters are seniors. What are two yeah. important messages that you hope seniors will take away with them after reading your book? And really all of us, because this is a book for anyone, really. Okay, I, I'm glad you asked me that question. And um, I was prepared and I would like to read word for word because for me, my, my next statement is the meat of the, this entire subject and the most important message that I want to get across to the, to the readers. So if you'll bear with me, Bill and I are looking at probably, Bill is the main character of the book. We are probably looking at the last season or chapter in our life, and we are both recovering from a devastating setback. The thought of trying to find a new soulmate is pretty sobering. I'm reminded of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. These Bible verses, in my opinion, are the recipe for an enduring, happy union. My message for all couples, especially seniors, is to refer to these verses. Marriage vows are found in these verses, and I cannot think of a better guideline for an enduring, fulfilling relationship. I, I think I, 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 I hate to interrupt because I, I completely agree with you and I want to hear the rest. Sadly, we're out of time, but I think that in itself is a nugget for all of us to hold on to. And, and you know, we'll find our truth and our soulmate with that. Thank you both so much for joining us on Bloom today. Thank you, Gail. Well, I want to put in a good word for you in publishing. They've been great to work for. That's awesome. All right, guys. Jody, it was great seeing you too as well. Have a wonderful day. And to order We Survived, please visit roberthardgravebooks.com. We'll be back with more Bloom.